Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time. So today I'm going to be reviewing this. Ah! Oh, I'm going to be reviewing the Rimmel London Paint It Matte Stay Matte All Matte Collection. By the way, this is probably one of the most interesting PR packages that I've ever got. Look at how cute it looks. It looks like a paint can. We have stay matte powders. We have a makeup sponge. We have a priming and setting spray, makeup primer, full coverage, mattifying foundation. Last but not the least, we have our stay matte concealer. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably know that I have dry skin, so I'm a little concerned about these products because every time I use anything mattifying, I look super cakey, but I've never used these products before. Maybe they're gonna work different on my skin this time. So I already moisturized my skin just in case, but I'm going to use the primer on my T-zone. I'm going to get a very small amount. Let's start with small. So I get shiny here and I get shiny here. I'm just going to press it in. This primer retails for $5.99 which is a really good price for a primer. And this is a mattifying, shine controlling, pore minimizing, hydrating feel, smooth skin. Okay, it hydrates and mattifies. This is really interesting. My first impression on a primer, it doesn't feel super mattifying and super dry. It definitely hydrates you a little bit. Let's see how it's gonna perform under the makeup. I don't know if I have to shake it, but I kind of always tend to shake setting sprays. Oh, it's a very fine mister. It smells like cucumbers and I love that scent. This one retails for six bucks. It's a really good price point for a setting spray because you go through them a lot if you do makeup like me. Next on, I have the foundation right here. And this foundation is supposed to be a full coverage foundation. I'm really excited because I love a full coverage moment. So this one retails for $5.79 and it comes in 24 shades. And I think I am the shade, which is light buff. It is 102. If not, the next one they sent me is sun base, which is 202. I might have to mix these two. Let's see how it works. There is something about using warm water for your makeup sponges. It just feels so different. Feels very BB creamy on my hands. It came out very very solid. Whoa, that is a lot. Okay. I'm just going to add more layers if I need it. This is my exact shade, actually. It is definitely full coverage. Just one layer covered all of that. So they were not lying about the full coverage. Okay, can I say for mattifying foundation, I'm not complaining at all. It actually looks really good. Let's bring it down to the neck a little bit. So we have a little continuity. Next on, I have the concealer and it comes in 20 shades and it retails for $5.49. This one is porcelain, ivory, fair, vanilla, linen, Nude, shell, warm ivory, classic beige, buff, sand, bronze, beige, honey, amber, golden amber, almond, chestnut, sable, and last but not the least, espresso. And this is the whole shade range for concealers. My swatches started from shitty to Liddy right there. It looks very professional over on this side, but this is just horrible. Looking at this chart, I would say I would conceal with ivory, contour with bronze or honey. Let's see how it goes. It has a similar texture to the foundation, by the way. It's like moussey, very moussey. Let's see how the coverage is though. I'll just add the rest later because matte concealers usually just dry really fast. Okay, let's see. The first impressions for the concealer, I will definitely say it is not full coverage. I can still see all my regrets, past mistakes, and all my gross exes. We're gonna add more layers. Let's add that. Let's see if I can get more coverage. Okay, much better. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit of highlight with porcelain and see if I can get the brightness that I usually go for. Ooh, that's my baby right there. I will definitely say they're really easy to blend. I'm going to put a little bit of honey, see where it takes me. I 
I actually like this color a lot for contour. I'm going to add a tiny bit of bronze to my forehead to make this forehead less of a five head. Oh, this added the warmth that I was going for. Okay, it definitely went back from being a five head to a four and a half. This definitely gave the dimension that I was looking for. On the nose, I'm going to use honey for sure, but I'm going to take it on my hands first. And I'm going to take this on a Luxa Beauty brush. This is 182 from JD Weedy's The Nose Contour one. And just snatch the shit out of this nose right now. If you want to add more, you can add more, but when you just start with very little product, it just gives you more control. I actually like the sponge a lot, by the way. I'm going to go over everything one more time. Make sure everything is blended before I set my face. If you're fair skin like me, honey is your shade. Let's, you know what? Let's just snatch this jawline too and hide all the chips that I ate yesterday. Normally, I get a little like weirded out about contouring my jawline because sometimes it looks really obvious, but this shade is the perfect shade for contour for my skin tone. So the combination of both definitely gives you that, you know, I just went to Tulum for the weekend and I got a little bit of a tan even though I never tan. But yeah, that's the feel that it gives me right now. I'm bringing down whatever contour, bronzer, shade it left on the sponge and just going to add a little down there. Next on, I'm gonna use the powder to set my face. And this retails for different prices everywhere, but the cheapest one is at Walmart for $3.97. Next cheapest one is Walgreens for $5.29. And the next one is Rite Aid for $5.69. This comes in eight shades and I'm gonna use the shade transparent because obviously my skin is very transparent. This is going to set the high points. I wanted to use one of the powders to also set my contour with and I think this shade is pretty good for that. This is deep beige and it has a little bit of cool tones in it so I think it will be okay. Update concealer creases. So you have to definitely set it with something. I'm not sure about using this under my eyes. It kind of made the concealer patchy. You can actually see the darkness here and then this is concealed so I actually should have used the translucent powder for this. So if I'm using a compact powder... <laughs> oh my god. Other than my under eyes, the powder is gorgeous. I legit do not have pores right now. Even though it says it is a mattifying collection, the whole thing after all the layers, it looks very skin-like. This was definitely the right shade. Okay, but why am I living for this line? I was really scared to use it because as I said, I do have really dry skin, but like the combination of everything. Oh my God, my chair. I have to change my chair. That's what I just realized that. Sorry if you've been hearing that throughout the whole video. When I'm doing a bronzer contour, I like to take it up a touch more than I usually do only because it just gives that overall bronzer look. I'm gonna set the jawline as well. For the rest of the face, I'm going to use Sandstorm. I have to say that I'm very impressed by this collection because normally, no matter what I do, which foundation I use, the sides of my nose always separate and it looks gross, but this looks fine. I mean, it separated just the tiny bit, but that's expected. This is like literally less than anything that I normally use. So yeah, and it does not look super cakey or super dry at all. It looks very skin-like and I absolutely love how it looks when everything is said and done. It still looks dewy because as i said it does have a satin finish more than matte it feels like skin the only thing that i have to say is that the concealer could have been a little bit more full coverage a little bit more but that's okay if i just add a couple more layers then it's fine but i usually go for a little you know full coverage one swipe and just everything on 
everything. When I say everything, everything. Because I can still see through the dark side right here. The dark side is very strong today. This is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want me to review more products, please do let me know in the comments. And if you did make it this far, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button right below. It's right there. It takes a second. Just, I don't know, it's in my head. See you in the next video. Bye.